everyone and welcome to this video on higher order functions in Swift and in this video we're going to be looking at transforming this amounts array using map, compact map, filter, reduce and flat map. And we're going to start with map and this is probably the most common higher order function you will use as an iOS developer, at least it is for me. And if we go to the Apple documentation we can see that map turns an array containing the results of mapping the given closure over the sequence's elements. So as an example for this one, we're going to be applying the closure which will add two to each of these ints and then map will give us back a new array having applied this closure to each of the elements. So let's just type that up quickly. So we're going to say let amount plus two equal amounts, which is our original array here, dot map. And then you can see that it has this transform closure that we're going to apply to each of the ints. And let's fill this in longhand. So we're going to have a number, which will be each of our ints. And then it's going to return an int here because we're just going to apply this plus two. So then we're going to return our number plus two. And if we print this out and we have this amounts plus two, we can see that we get this 3, 5, 12, 6, 7, 17, and 32, which is each of these elements plus two, which is what we wanted. Now, if you want to write the shorthand, you can just come up here and all you need to do is type $0, which is again, each of these elements plus two, and then you'll get the same result if we run this again, as we did previously, and it looks a lot tidier. So we're gonna move on to compact map now. So here's what it says about compact map. Uh, compact map returns an array containing the non-nil results of calling the given tr transformation with each element of this sequence. So let's do an example here. We're going to replace one of these elements with a nil, which will mean that this amounts array is now an array of optional ints. And we're going to come down here and we're going to type compact map and apply a closure of the same element. So what this means is if we just quickly rename this to amounts non-optional, and this might give you a clue as to what it's going to do. And we run this we can see that we don't have this nil uh, value in our returned array here. And the reason for that is because compact map is removing this nil value. And again, this is very useful in day-to-day -day iOS development life. So that's compact map. Now, if we move on to filter, we can see that filter returns an array containing in order the elements of the sequence that satisfy the given predicate. Now, what we're gonna do with filter is we're going to filter through this list and or filter through this array and basically we only want to include the um, even numbers so let's do that again let's uh, rename this to even amounts and let's spell that correctly so we can say amounts dot filter and then you get this is included closure and we're going to fill this in and say number and this will return a bool, which indicates whether it should be included in the return array. And we're going to return this number and then use this modulo operator here. And it's going to be uh, two. And whether it has a remainder of zero will indicate whether this is an even number. And if we run this, we can see that we get 10, four and 30. So it has removed one, three, five and 15 which is exactly what we wanted. So again, extremely useful. Now reduce, and this is an interesting one. So reduce returns the result of combining the elements of the sequence using the given closure. So again, a lot of possibilities with this. And what we're gonna do here is we're going to um, essentially add all of these elements up. Now, if we start typing, well, we can call this total, pretty simple and then if we start typing reduce here we can see that we have two versions now the first version has this in out result and all this means is that in each of our uh, closures or each time we apply our closure to our element we can actually um, mutate the result in place so I'll show you what that means in a second but the second one we have uh, a constant result, which means that we have to return the result each time um, for it to continue on. So 
let's do the first one. So you need to give reduce a starting value. And as we're adding these elements up, all these ints up, we're going to start at zero. And then we're going to double click here. And we have this result. So this result is the accumulating result as we iterate through here. So when we get to 10, we're, the result will, will be four from the first two elements here. And the int here is going to be the number or the element each time. So what we can do is simply say in each of these closures, we're going to have result plus equal the number. And then if we run this, we get 68, which is the uh, total of all of these elements. Now, if we use the other reduce, we can see that we have our initial result, which is the same. So we're going to have zero here. And then we're going to have our result and our number, the same as last time, which will return us an int. And we can't do the same as last time because it's expecting this return value. So this will not compile. Uh, left side of mutating operator isn't mutable. The result is a let constant, which is exactly what we expected. So what we need to do here is return our result plus the number. And then if we run this, we get the same value. Now you can do this in shorthand as well. So I believe there's a really cheeky shortcut here, which is something like this. And you can see you get this again. So you can go uh, incredibly shorthand and this works um, through some swift uh, magic behind the scenes. And it's because it knows that each of these are ints and that's, uh, yeah, that's a swift feature there, which is very nice. So uh, moving on to flat map, our last one, we uh, are told that flat map returns an array containing the concatenated results of calling the given transformation with each element of the sequence. So um, what we can do here is we can change the type of this array to hold uh, int arrays. So let's just add a few in there. And all that flat map will do is if we return the element itself, so we'll say flattened array, is it will essentially turn this into one array and it will remove all of these arrays in, in effect exactly what it says it does, flat. So it will flatten this array. So if you run this, you can see that we just get an array like we had originally and that is what flat map does which is uh, again very useful so i hope this has been helpful and i will see you for the next one